Hi, my name is Charlie Ludlow. I'm a sophomore here at Siena Heights University. Um, I'm going to be doing the January video logs for uh, prospective students here and um, just talking about the university a little bit more and the daily life of the university. So, I mean, some of my daily life activities are, of course, classes. I'm um, also involved in campus ministry, student government, um, Pi Lambda Phi, the social fraternity on campus. I am a uh, tour guide here at the university um, with the admissions office. And then also on top of that too, I'm doing um, a peer mentor and I'm also an OT leader. So you're going to be able to, uh, to get to hear from me a little bit more this, uh, this month of January and hear kind of a uh, student's take on exactly what daily life here at Siena is like. And also even just kind of what, what your weeks are going to be looking like and um, how Siena Heights is really going to be impacting you and how it's actually impacted me quite a bit since I've been here. So thank you very much and I hope you enjoy. So, I mean, you know, this week uh, we actually had a pretty cool thing with uh, campus ministry that I did. Um, it was a leadership retreat that we were in conjunction with the University of Michigan and Michigan State University. Um, it was actually the first time that Michigan and Michigan State University's campus ministry programs were uh, brought together and uh, doing a retreat together. So it's kind of funny that Siena Heights was the uh, bridge, I guess, for that success. Um, so what we did kind of in this retreat, it was... Uh, like I said, a leadership style retreat, and um, it was really focusing on styles of leadership and mixing those with our strengths. So what we do is um, this Gallup Strengths Finder um, with the Campus Ministry Program, and what it does is it outlines um, your basically your strengths, what you're good at, what you're naturally able to do, and from there, uh, their philosophy is to work on what you're good at, and that's how you're going to become kind of that optimal you in a lot of ways. Um, <clears throat> so a lot of my strengths are actually in the influencing category. So my top five is actually futuristic. Um, my second one is communication. My third one is significance. My fourth one is competition. And my fifth one is woo. So what those kind of are is just a, a small profile of what you are. Every person has 34 of these strengths and basically the top 10 of those, you, uh, are what you really naturally do well. You don't even have to think about doing them. The next 10 are ones that you do pretty well, but I mean, a lot of times you kind of think about it. And then everything else is just something that you really have to work to do. You don't do it very naturally. And like I said, everything is kind of in this, um, this categorizing of it. And really what it does is it helps you to know where you're optimally able to be. A lot of the times when people say that they're unhappy with what they're doing or not doing something um, the way that they want to, it's because they're not utilizing their strengths in the correct way. And this is really, this retreat kind of helped us to, to understand that and really break that down more. I mean, I know I explained it a little bit, but there's actually a lot more to it, which is really cool. Um, but like I said, it was really, it was a great retreat. It was a lot of fun. And um, it was definitely something that really can, can key you into how you can become the best you that you can possibly be. Instead of necessarily working on what you're not, just work on what you're good at in a lot of ways. And then a lot of times it can be, um, you can be that optimal you. So one example of that kind of atmosphere is actually a uh, study that the University of Nebraska, I believe it was, did. Um, and what they did was they released a study and um, it, showed the uh, correlation of somebody who's bad at reading. I think they read uh, 194 words per minute. I don't know. I'm just kind of pulling a number out of thin air, actually, really with that. And then there was another group of uh, people who read uh, like over 700 words per minute. And actually, there was more growth in the people that read over 700 words per minute than the people who were not quite as good of readers. They had about a 50% improvement in that um that lower level, then the upper level had over a thousand percent increase in the way that they were able to read. So it was really, really cool. And um, it was something that kind of goes to show a great example of utilizing your strengths. And that's something that Sia Heights itself has really helped me with is knowing my strengths, knowing what I'm good at. And then from there, I can put myself into roles that I capitalize on that. And I really try to become the best me that I can be. And that's really, that's where Sienna Heights has kind of impacted my life in the best ways is because I've been able to really use college, use this opportunity, this uh, four year period as a time to become myself, find who I am. And then also on top of that, 
become the best me that I can possibly be. So um, you're going to be hearing from me a couple more times this month, and I hope that you guys have a great day, and uh, go Saints.